Hey guys, so recently I saw the top 20 uh, singles, music singles uh, list. First time I've seen that list for a while and something that struck me straight away was something like 18 of them or 17 of them was, uh, you know, some track um, and then the, you know, Eminem featuring Bo City Poo Poo Dunny Diddy or um, featuring somebody and it was like 18 or 17 or 18 of the 20 was a track uh, by somebody featuring somebody and then when I was actually listening to them I noticed that sometimes uh, the person who's featured you can actually you know hear them they play a fairly relevant part to the music but I also noticed that many of the times the person who was featured really could have been replaced with a backup singer or a synthesizer or something else. So it was just interesting because it got me thinking about why they do it. And I guess, you know, if you feature somebody, um, it expands your viewer base or your listening base. So, uh, of course, you know, the plan is that if two famous people do a, a uh, single together obviously both their fans both those people's fans will watch it or listen to it buy it and it, it expands your fan base and then later of course the other person's featured on the other person's music and then that expands their fan base so it's pretty clever because it sort of seems makes you seem cool because you're involved with other singers other famous people um, and it expands your fan base at the same time so it's sort of good image. Oh, this guy's a nice guy who, you know, likes to sing music with other people and, um, you know, she's a nice girl. You know, they're nice people. They like to share their music with other people. And um, so it's a, it gives a nice, gives you a nice image. Um, but at the same to token, it's excellent business, which, I mean, really, that would be one of the main reasons that they're doing it most of the time. Why they're, they're including someone famous instead of just using a backup singer or a synthesizer. So anyway, I've decided it's a really good idea. So I thought that if my channel, the Silly Old Dude channel, uh, does the same thing with another YouTube channel, maybe we can do the same thing. We'll come across as being really nice, friendly people, um, you know, sociable people. And at the same time, we can, um, I can pick up some more subscribers from the other person's channel and they can pick up some more from mine. So what I did, I just picked up my friend uh, who operates... Uh, a YouTube channel and um, we're going to do uh, featuring. So this video is featuring this guy. Hey guys. So why don't you tell us about your YouTube channel? Hmm, my channel's about Japan and all things Japanese. So Japanese vending machines and Japanese culture and festivals and fun parks and actually I've got a whole heap of uh, playlists with all different sort of categories so different people can find different things they're interested in you know fashion or wheels you know cars trains planes um, boats uh, all that sort of thing yeah so thanks for telling us about that that's really good actually one thing that you might be interested in from Japan it's cans of coffee You've got to love the can of coffee is a great invention here. Oh, can of coffee. Japanese are brilliant, aren't they? Thanks very much. So what's your channel about? Hmm, my channel. Silly old dude channel is sort of uh, randomness. <laughs> I guess you'd call it. There's no real theme to it. Um, whatever happens to be on my mind on the day, I think. Hmm. Um, randomness, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. <laughs> not everybody likes my channel, actually. Because um, it's not real focused on anything in particular. It's fairly random. So... I find some people who watch it don't get any of it. Some people get some of it, but don't like other parts of it. So, yeah, it, it's, um, mm. yeah, it seems pretty random. 
Um, I've watched a bit of it. Doesn't seem to be a pattern to any of it. It's pretty random, but yeah, there's some stuff there that's reasonably amusing, I guess. All sorts of people on YouTube, so some people will like some of it, probably. Maybe just the crazy ones. So everybody, um, make sure you uh, subscribe to my friend, the Japan channel, if you haven't done already. And make sure you subscribe to the Silly Old Dudes channel, if you're into such things. More videos coming soon.